Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 20th, 2021. So let's see what we have. Oh, there it is going on for today. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. When we reevaluate where we're going, confidence does not mean I'm going to, you know, be self-centered or I'm just going to, you know, fake it till I make it kind of thing. Although that is kind of a manifestation tool, you know, to bring it in. But this is self-love. This is self-understanding. We're talking about understanding with others and being more compassionate, but where can you be more compassionate for you? And this, the key to confidence, as I'm feeling it come through now, is not by outward validation. We've been saying this for a very long time. <laughs> it's not through that. It's when you sense someone trying to pull on your energy. They're trying to twist your words. They're trying to diminish you. They're trying to make you look like you're just this bad person. And you get irritated that that person is doing that. You see what they're doing. You've educated yourself enough. You know what to look for. You know what you're contending with. But they're still getting a piece of you. And I know that's not an easy thing to work around. And if you're in a space where like, no, I, I'm still there where they're getting a piece of me. That's fine. Don't let anybody tell you that you're supposed to let it go. All right. You're processing as is right for you. Okay. But if you can get to this place of confidence where just because someone is, is trying to play these games with me doesn't mean I owe them something. It doesn't mean I have to show up and participate. I was given the example, I don't know, in a video a long time ago where I was always under this, like there was this conditioning, this place I was functioning from. If some guy decided he was interested in me, that I owed him something, especially if it's someone, if somebody, I'm a magnet for like rich people. I don't know what that is. I think it's funny, um, but they, <laughs> they come right at me and they want to be friends and you know, the whole thing. But especially if it was a man who might be wealthy or they have power, well, he's chosen you. It's like this king kind of complex, you know, like the king chooses you. You don't say no to the king, right? So we have to break away from that and stop uh, getting into this thing of we owe people something. That's part of the confidence. No, no, I know who I am. And if there's mutual interest in a job, in a love partnership, even friendships, how many times have you had somebody come up and say, I think you and I are just going to be best friends. And that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> You know, you don't need to let other people, I feel like this is a message that a lot of you need to hear. You don't need to allow other people to dictate how you share your heart or how you show up. You don't need to allow other people to tell you who you are or what your intentions are. I did a video one time, you guys, where I was uh, just, I, I don't remember what it was. I think I had experienced like a product or a service. So I was like, I just did this and I love it. And someone had the audacity to comment, if this is a sponsored video, you have to disclose that. It wasn't a sponsored video. Do you see? Do you see? It's a, it's a minor example, but I think we do need to start opening our eyes, not in this like oversensitive kind of way, but just being aware of the subtle ways people try to come in and make it seem like you're doing something wrong, <laughs> right? Or trying to twist, you know, I just had somebody twisting something that I said uh, to make me look like a bad person. You know, stuff like that. Your confidence is, as I said before, confidence is knowing who you are and knowing that you don't define me. I don't have to say yes to that. I can say no lovingly. Yes. Your confidence today, whatever you're facing, is going to have, have to do with a lot of uh, like setting boundaries and, um, even in setting boundaries, not setting boundaries and then going, oh gosh, I wonder if there's going to be some backlash for setting a boundary. Uh, because again, that's that toxic personality disorder type person who says, you're not allowed to say no to me. Okay. There's going to be a lot of this coming up for many of us today. So see where you can be centered. Okay. And not only setting those boundaries, but energetically going, I don't have to partake in this and I won't. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.